Hello, this is how to install the VNC server Tiger VNC on Arch Linux. I have a fresh installation of Arch Linux. I have selected to install a desktop and uh, I'm using the KD Plasma 6 desktop. So it's just an installation performed using Arch install and in there I have selected KD Plasma 6. Let's log in. We need to connect to this uh, machine using SSH. Become super user. Let's see if uh, SSH server is installed. It's the command line. SSH D. So the OpenSSH server is installed, but the system uh, D unit is disabled. Let's enable it. And now it's both enabled, which means that we, it will be started if we restart the Arch Linux computer and it's running. The command line is systemctl enable minus minus now and then the name of the systemd unit of type service. Let's connect to this machine using SSH. Hopefully we don't need the graphical user interface session anymore. Let's actually disconnect. Let's find the IPv4 address of the machine. Let's connect using SSH. Yes. Password. And from now on, I'm trying to follow my wiki page. So this is my wiki and mariusp.github.io. In here, I have a page about how to install a VNC server. And uh, on Linux and the BSDs, I'm going to use the software package Tiger VNC for the VNC server. But also I'm using the VNC client Tiger VNC if uh, I'm using this one of these operating systems. So we have the open SSH server we could connect. So we're at this step. And now we need to find out the name of the Tiger VNC server and then install it. This is an interesting to me wiki page from the Arch Linux wiki, wiki.archlinux.org slash title slash pacman slash rosetta, which uh, contains a table with comparison on how to use the command line that installs packages, the package manager of the major Linux families, operating system families, there's the operating system Fedora Red Hat, the operating system family Arch Linux, the operating system family Debian Ubuntu, and then SUSE, OpenSUSE. So we want to search for packages, apt search, and for Arch Linux Pacman minus uppercase S, lowercase S. So let's use that. And we want Tiger. And we want VNC. Arch Linux doesn't split source um, packages that much. So maybe Tiger VNC contains everything that I need. Probably also the server parts and the client parts. So let's install.
the next line in uh, the table in Rosetta, install packages by name, apt install and pacman space minus uppercase S. I have just installed, so I have done um, minus S I U, hopefully. And the name of the package is this guy. FLTK is the um, toolkit that's being used in order to show graphical user interface by the Tiger VNC client package and probably also by the um, server package. It's a gra graphical user interface toolkit similar to GTK. back to where we were so we've uh, installed hopefully the correct um, vnc server there's a variety of vnc servers part of tiger vnc that you can choose from we can just uh, start the um, VNC server. How do we do that? Let's see with VNC password. I'm using a um, longer password. As far as I know, VNC password requires a password that's at least six characters long. And this is the uh, VNC password that's used for connecting to VNC server, to this VNC server, and also interacting with the VNC server in the sense that uh, you will uh, be able to be more than just a viewer, you will be able to move the mouse on the X server of the VNC server and type with your keyboard. I don't need a uh, VNC view only password because I'm not going to use the view only feature of uh, the VNC protocol. Let's see where we're at. It says that um, creating an x11 session in here and in here it's starting the default session plasma x11 it's listening on the port 5901 which is 5900 so 5900 plus the display number so the display number that i have specified is one that means the port is 5901 now we will try to connect directly using the final vnc viewer command line which is we want to connect to this computer via the SSH server that runs on the same computer where the VNC server runs. So this via thing means that a SSH connection will be made using this user to this IPv4 address, which is the address of the SSH server. And then via an SSH tunnel, we're going to connect to this computer, the local host, 
network interface card on the server where the R where uh, Arch Linux is installed and when where the VNC server and the SSH server run and uh, we're specifying this port so let's see that let's have a second console so the above console is for the VNC server below is the VNC client I'm on Kubuntu 24.10 I have already installed the VNC viewer package the client VNC app from Tiger VNC let's prepare this command line the IPv4 address is this one we need to change the SSH server IPv4 address the rest of the command line stays unchanged because the Linux username is administrator asks for the SSH password of the user administrator on the Arch Linux machine we're connected uh, via SSH it has created the SSH tunnel and it has started the Tiger VNC client and now it asks for the VNC at least six letter long password the password for um, the master type of connecting to the VNC server where I can interact with the VNC desktop and that's it because only one x11 session probably was installed by arch install when i ins have installed arch linux only the um, plasma kd plasma 6 x11 session is the only x11 session that's why i guess that uh, the tiger vnc vnc server when it started and it tried to create an x11 session it automatically created the correct type of x11 session which is again kd plasma 6 x11 session and uh, that's about it we could connect correctly to the correct x11 session we can use all of the features of the vnc protocol which means i can resize this window the tiger vnc vnc client window as i want that will tell the vnc server to resize and that will tell the x11 server to resize that will tell the kd plasma 6 session on uh, the arch Linux machine to resize such that uh, no stretching is being performed we can actually look at the resolution so it's this strange 1008 by 958 pixel resolution so this is exactly what i want because I want to use the web browser on the host machine on the machine where I run the VNC client and um, the remote machine where the VNC server runs I want to use it for other purposes for programming for editing files for I know doing container things I don't really want to run the web browser also inside of the remote Arch Linux machine this way I can have this machine use less random access memory let's see if copy paste works correctly both directions let's copy this thing and it does let's copy this thing let's copy to the text editor
anywhere. So by B directional copy paste of text works between the VNC client and the VNC server. These are the features that I want in a VNC connection. I want to be able to resize the VNC client window that will tell the VNC server to actually resize the X11 session. That works. I want to copy both directions text via the clipboard and that works correctly. And then I want speed and speed actually is provided. The menus move as fast as they do on, on the hardware computer, on the host machine, on the VNC client machine. Everything's as fast and as snappy as I need it to be. So this is it. This is how to install the VNC server Tiger VNC on a fresh installation of Arch Linux with KDE Plasma 6 desktop, including the X11 session. I have uh, run just three things. I have enabled the open SSH server. I have enabled the SSHD system, the service. This has allowed me to connect via the SSH protocol to the remote computer. In there, I have run VNC password in here. This has asked for a master VNC password, at least six characters long. And then I have just run the command line VNC server space colon one which has started an X server, the desktop VNC index is one, and that has started the desktop with the correct uh, session key, the Plasma 6 X11 session. And then from the VNC client machine, from the host machine, I have run just one command line, this long one. You can find this command on my wiki page and mariusp.github.io slash vnc at the end of the page in here where it says vnc client use a command line like this one again the command line will connect to this computer via the ssh protocol using this user after the ssh connection is established a um, SSH tunnel is created where we connect to this port 5901. And that's it. Everything then works as expected. Thank you.